Mexican elote. That is what we're making today. Some sweet corn with a creamy, spicy sriracha sauce, lime juice, sea salt, cumin, paprika, and chili powder. Oh, yeah, we also got a little bit of cilantro. Let me show you how we make this. Welcome to the kitchen. Another day of getting healthy and feeling great and getting excited about some of these awesome meals that we make right here on the Produce Section Challenge. It's ProduceSectionChallenge.com. ProduceSectionChallenge.com. Throw it up on your web browser. Click the link above. Sign up for the weekly meal plans. Get pizza fries. Get Mexican elote. Eat some of the best meals you've ever tried in your entire life and win back your health today. Start today so that one month from now you're feeling like a million dollars. Start today so that one year from now you've got your health results, you're back in control of your destiny, your future, and you're living a longer and healthier life. How's it going? Cynthia, you just had it for lunch. Awesome. Isn't this sauce incredible? I'm so excited to get lost in the sauce, swim in the sauce, because you know the sauce is the boss. It makes the choice of how good the flavor is gonna be. Lolita, how's it going? And the sauces are a big thing for us. So here's the sauce we got. Speaking of sauces, that sweet sriracha cashew sauce. I mean, look at that. That's some good stuff right there. So creamy, so spicy, so sweet, and so savory, all at the same exact time. That is gonna be the sauce that we slather, layer on top of our roasted sweet corn. Here's your sweet corn, two ears. Actually got another one on the stove as well. Threw those in the oven 450 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until it was nice and roasted. You can see the exterior husk is nice and dark, but the interior corn is nice and warm and soft and sweet and delicious. So two ears of sweet corn, two limes. I used half in the sauce and I'm gonna use the rest right on top. We got some cilantro chopped up right over here fresh cilantro, and you've got yourself some chili powder, some paprika, some cumin, and some sea salt. All the spices, all the corn, all the sauce, all the lime, and all the food from the Produce Section Challenge. How's it going, Kathy? Yum, right? Delicious. Absolutely amazing. I tried the sauce. I licked the sauce. I stuck my finger in the blender. Do not stick your finger in blenders. They have sharp blades, and I licked my finger. It happened right before I went live right here. You should have seen me. I was smiling saying, oh yes, another sauce that people are gonna go absolutely crazy for. Another sauce so packed with flavor and so delicious that you could honestly drink it by itself. But we're not gonna do that today. I almost did, I was licking it, but it's all right. Let's take this sauce. It's a sriracha aioli. You can see just how creamy that is. Look at that creaminess, just frothing with sweetness and creaminess. You wanna learn how to make that sauce, you can go check out the weekly meal plans for challenge.com, sign up and start to cook this way. Let's pour a little sauce on top. This is really easy to make everyone. This is gonna take you a couple minutes. All you do is you pour your creamy sauce right on top of your corn, just like that. Just pour it on top. Look at that sauce. That is so good. Sriracha cashew sauce. It's limey, it's sweet, it's spicy. It's just overall amazing. And then we'll just spread it on out. We'll just spread some of that sauce on top of that corn. Let it get all over it. This is a lotis. It's a classic Mexican dish. Usually they would use cotija cheese and they would use mayo, but we're doing this healthy. We're gonna make it so you can lose weight and eat some of your favorite meals so that you can get rid of the cholesterol, the saturated fats, and all those things that cause so many problems in our society and our health. And we make that food just as good, if not even better. We make food that's even better than the traditional food. Even more flavorful and more delicious while not losing some of that authentic taste. And we do it while being healthy. We do it while feeling good. So there you go, that's what corn looks like, slathered on top with some sriracha aioli. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna toss on some cilantro. So we'll just sprinkle some cilantro, it's just fresh cilantro on top. Just sprinkle some of that on. Some fresh chopped cilantro on top of some sriracha aioli. We'll just sprinkle some more of that on. You can use any hot sauce in this as well. You can use Cholula, you can use Tapatio, 
You can use whichever one you prefer. Frank's Red Hot Sauce, you got lots of choices. Let's get crazy with that cilantro. Let's have some fun. Let's make it a party in here. Let's add on some lime juice, some fresh lime juice squeezed on top of our two nice ears of corn topped with sriracha aioli and cilantro. Now let's squeeze some fresh lime juice on top. Let's just squeeze some of this fresh lime juice right from the farms out here in California. These ripe, fresh limes. Such a nice, sweet, and citrusy taste to go with that sriracha aioli. So we're just squeezing some fresh lime juice on top. As you can see, fresh lime being squeezed on top of sweet roasted corn topped with sriracha aioli and cilantro. Now let's add a little bit of sea salt, just a pinch. Salt and corn go real well together. So we're just gonna add a little bit of corn, I mean a little salt to the corn. A little salt on top. Now we're gonna add in some cumin. Here's your cumin right there. Next time you grill, absolutely, next time you hit the grill, make sure this is part of your meals. Make sure this is what's hitting the grill and not some of that stuff that can be tragic for your health. So we're just sprinkling a little cumin on there. A little cumin, we'll sprinkle a little bit more. Let's get crazy, let's add the flavor. We love flavor here. And the seasoning is where the flavor comes from. So let's add a little bit more on there. Some cumin. Here we got some paprika. Smoky. So we'll add a little bit of paprika on top of there. Some paprika, some cumin, some sea salt, some sriracha aioli, and some cilantro. Just a little bit. Give it a little color. Make it look nice and pretty. This is going to be fun to eat on camera, isn't it? Let's shake that up a little bit. Let's get a little bit more out there. A little bit more paprika. All right. Doing this one-handed with these things, I'll tell you, it's a challenge, but I'm up for the task. Let's add a little bit of chili powder. So just a little bit of chili powder on top. Some chili powder, some paprika, some cumin, some sea salt, some lime juice, some sriracha, and some cilantro. Now I gotta show you just how beautiful these look. You gotta just see how gorgeous this is. I gotta hold one of these up really quick so you can just get a look. So you can just get a look at what it looks like to eat a healthy, delicious, sweet, spicy, saucy, and just downright delicious meal. I don't know what else to say other than that's just good stuff. That's cilantro, that's cumin, that's paprika, chili powder, sea salt, sriracha aioli, and that is sweet corn. All right, let's take a bite. Let's take a bite. Here we go. We're gonna take a bite of this. It's just like oozing that sauce. It looks so good, it's just oozing sauce. You can see it's just dripping down the side of the corn. All right, let's take a bite of this. It's almost too pretty to eat. It's almost too pretty to eat. Here we go. We're gonna take a bite of this right now. Roasted sweet corn. An absolutely amazing sauce. That might be one of the best meals I've ever made. Oh my goodness, I got sauce all over my face. One more bite, just to make sure it was as good as I actually thought it was. Oh my goodness. Mmm. That works even better than I thought it would. That is, that sauce is incredible. I got a sauce stash. I got sauce all up on my face. I'm not even mad about it. I'm wearing a sauce goatee. This is what it would look like if I had facial hair. Mm. That is one of the best sauces you may ever try in your entire life. This may be the best Mexican corn you've ever had in your entire life. And I'm not even making that up. This is, this is so good. This is so good. Imagine, imagine how easy that was to make a meal that is so high in saturated fat, so high in cholesterol. I still got sauce all over my face. I'm not even mad about it. I'll swim in sauce. If I took my shirt off and poured this sauce on over me, you know how many likes I would get? Facebook would explode. They would ban me for another 24 hours. If I did that, they'd ban me for 24 hours for making pizza fries. I don't know why. We're making food so good, we're getting banned from Facebook. Apparently, Facebook doesn't want people to get too healthy. This is just, they, Facebook can't even process the fact that we're making some of the food that we're making. Um, but yeah, you pour that sauce all over me and take my shirt off, I guarantee you Facebook will break. The internet will actually break this time. This is insanely good. I gotta wipe this sauce off. I got sauce all over me. Oh, it's sweet. It's spicy. It's limey. It's salty. It's cilantro-y. Oh, it 
It's so good. You know, I'm wiping it off, but I'm also putting it in my mouth because I don't want to waste it. That's going to be one of the best meals you've ever tried. And I say that every single day because it's just so good. It's so good. It's, it's so good that it makes me wonder, like, why would anyone not do this? Like, you're going to eat the best food you've ever tried in your entire life, hands down. Not even be close, not even a competition. We can blind taste test people out in the middle of the street. They'll say this is better tasting. It's going to be the most affordable thing you've ever done. It was 29 cents an ear of corn. 29 cents an ear of corn. It'll be the most affordable thing you've ever done. It's going to take you less than five minutes. You're going to do it with one hand. You're going to feel better than you've ever felt in your entire life. You're going to lose a ton of weight. You're going to feel so good. Your skin's going to glow. You're going to shine. People are going to start asking you what you're doing, how you're doing, doing it. And at the same exact time, you're going to be eating some of the best food you've ever tried in your entire life. It adds up. It's real. It sounds too good to be true, but it is. This is one time that it actually is. I hope you guys enjoy this. It's Mexican corn. It's Mexican elotes. It's sweet. It's spicy. Well, it's just good. It's just really, really, really good. I think the fire truck's coming for me. I think they sent the fire truck out here to put out this because it's just too spicy and it's just too delicious. It's too good. You have to watch the replay. All right, Debbie. We watched the replay. And if you're on here, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're really taking this to heart. I hope you're really going for it. I hope you dived all in. I hope you believe in yourself, love yourself, care for yourself, and you're ready to live a healthier and happier life. I hope that you're not allowing things in the future to stop you or prevent you from getting what you want right now. Every single one of us, and we'll do a, let's do a survey real quick. Every single one of us, I can guess, wants to get healthier. Put a yes down below if you want to get healthier. And I'll tell you right now, I'm yes with an exclamation point. I am yes with an exclamation point. I live to be healthier. All the other stuff, I worry about that stuff all the time. Money, rent, work, all that sort of stuff, that's always going to be there. But if you just genuinely want to live a healthier life, put yes. If you want to win back your health, you want to feel better today, not tomorrow, not 10 years from now, but today you want to be healthier. Maria with a yes. Kathy with a yes, Jody with a yes, and I'm, an, I'm a yes with an exclamation point. Kathy with a yes with an exclamation point. And Kathy, you've done an awesome job. Lolita with a yes, Stephanie with a yes. I think we're all here for the same reason, right? Ruth with a yes, I love it, Ruth. Debbie with a yes, Debbie's been here a long time as well. Sue with a yes, and Sue, Sue has been going for it too, and I'm so proud of you, Sue. Robin with a yes, Stacy, yes, yes, right? Feels good. It feels good to know that you're going for it. Tim and Marie, yes, yeah, you've done an amazing job too, haven't you? Tina with the yes, Cindy with the yes, Corey with the yes, uh, Joanne with the yes, and, and, and we're all here for the same exact reason, Mary with the yes, and that's what makes it such a positive and such an amazing community and such a great group of people to be around every single day. Maria, how's it going? Welcome. And you know, that's what makes this so unique is that we're all here for the same exact reason. We all wanna get healthier now. We all know the power of this. We all know what this can do for ourselves and for our families. And that's why we're here every single day watching these videos. That's why we're here every single day cooking these meals. And that's why we're here every single day supporting each other and believing in this because we're believing in ourselves. And I really cannot emphasize that more. We all wanna get healthier today. So I hope you take that to heart and you use that same passion when you put your yes in the comments, just like I throw my yes with my exclamation point, my emphatic, my, empath my, my enthusiasm for health pours into my life. It pours into my decisions. It pours into my choices of what I eat. And it pays back tenfold. There's nothing better than being healthy. There's nothing that you can ever replace the way it feels to wake up and look in the mirror and know that you've done every single thing that you possibly could within your power to live a healthier and happier life. Having that peace of mind. There's plenty of diseases out there that we can't control and we can only do the best we possibly can to prevent or to reduce. But there's plenty of things outside of our control. There are plenty of things that we suffer from. debilitating diseases, loss of limbs, loss of the ability to see, loss of the ability to hear, loss of the ability to speak, loss of the ability to do so many things that we take for granted every single day. We take for granted our health and our well-being so often when so many others would cherish it and give anything that they could possibly give in order to have it. You ask anyone that doesn't have the ability to walk and you tell them what they would want or what they would do in order to walk again. We need to protect what we already have and protect what we still have and prevent the tragedies that can occur if we don't take care of ourselves. And if you're in that situation, I know a lot of people that can't walk that follow me. I know a lot of people that can't hear that follow me. I know a lot of people that can't see 
that follow me. And I know that because you messaged me. And I'm, and I'm sympathetic with that and I understand where you are and I'm even more proud of you for overcoming your adversity, overcoming your challenges, overcoming the difficulties that can come with life and not letting those limit you, but you still go for it every single day. You still believe in yourself, trust yourself, care for yourself and understand that you are still so worthy and so important and you still take care of yourself. So please don't take for granted your health. Please really make this count. Please want this for yourself. Love yourself, care for yourself, and just have fun. Just have a good time. Enjoy it, take the pressure off. Take the pressure off and have a good time. And enjoy some corn, that's Mexican elotes. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy your day. All right, I'll talk to you later.